Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. I'm Dr. Cassette, and today we are going to take a look at this. This is the CB Master International power supply. Protected against shortcuts, gives a very weird voltage of 13.8 volts and it gives a current up to 3.5 amperes. And I got this at a flea market. I paid only 4 euro, but, well, it's in a pretty bad shape, as you can see. It's really, really bad shape. I mean, they had, um, actually they had three of those weird power supplies, and, well, one was really completely gone. I mean, something very heavy dropped on here, and the housing was all, all broken. And then they had another one, which um, was in, in a very good condition, even in the original box, but, well, I got this one. And um, I think we're going to take a look inside first. I haven't plugged it in yet, because, um, well, I first want to take a look inside and make sure that nothing's uh, broken in there. And this is the inside of the power supply. The power supply, of course, contains this nice big transformer, the power switch, the fuse, the output connectors, which have um, there are those really nice types here where you can you screw them out and you can put in a cable right there, or you can also plug in one of those banana plugs, which I really, really like. There we go. And here we have the circuitry. And, well, you can't really see it because it's so dark in here. But this power supply is not going to work because um, well, maybe you can see it, that this power transistor down there is broken. There must have been a real explosion in there, really. As you can see, the housing is really broken apart. So, well, this thing is not going to work. And that's really why I prefer looking into uh, those units before plugging them in. I think now we can try and plug it in because as you can see I've disconnected these diodes from the rest of the circuitry so that should be safe now so that we can at least find out what what voltage this transformer gives. I've also tested the fuse and it's still intact. Now the power supply is connected to the line and let's turn it on. Power switch lights up. Oh man, the transformer as you can hear is extremely noisy. Maybe it's loose, if you touch it, it gets quieter. One thing I just noticed is that they are using a very, very old technique of rectifying the power. As you can see, we have only two diodes instead of four. And instead of one transformer output, we have two. And each output of the transformer, they're having one, uh, one ground and two outputs, and each output of the transformer is connected to one 
diode. And both diodes are connected together, as you can see there, and then you get your DC. That's a really, well, an older technique of making it, so this power supply must be, well, from the 70s or maybe the early 80s. But it must be pretty old. Now let's find out the output voltage of the transformer. It is 18.4 volts AC. As you can see, I've now taken out the broken electronics. And here are the broken electronics. And this is a close-up of that blown transistor. Let's try if we can open up the housing. Surprisingly enough, I was able to open up that broken transistor. But as you can see, um, the parts that are normally the transistor are all melted and um, you can't really see what was in there, what was the transistor. Man oh man, I just took off the heatsink and as you can see, oh well. That thing must have been really, really, really overheated. You can see the circuit board is all burned here. So, as you can see, this circuit board is really just junk. So, let's throw it away. And now it's late, I'm really tired, I'm going to bed. So, stay tuned to find out what I'm going to do with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, what Earth said was Nash Sash Healer Zero Vigor said these was.